hey guys welcome back to another video in the series of devops project and in today's video we are going to talk about the jenkins file so in this jenkins files we have written all the code that you can see on my screen and we are going to discuss the stages how we're going to build how we're going to fetch the code and a lot of other things so before moving further in this video i would like to request that if you're new over here kindly subscribe the channel because it supports me to create more content like this so without further ado let us dive right into the video okay so before moving further in this Jenkins file and will we start to understand it, I would like to recommend one thing. So this is a channel that where I make the content and I already have a Jenkins tutorial for beginners. So if you can go through this, it would be great. And then there is a specific video which I created for this, which is this one. And in this Jenkins tutorial for beginners, declarative and scripted pipelines, I've given a demo and a blue ocean plugin. This is the ninth video. So you can go through this and you can understand if you want to understand the basics of a scripted pipeline and stuff all right so you can go through this now let us understand this jenkins file so once done you can see that it starts from the pipeline and then we have written agent any over here so agent any means if you have like five or six agents it can pick any of the one and if you want a specific one then you have to give the value of that agent over here perfect now in the environment what we are doing it here over over here is we are giving the nexus version so it's kind of a variables you have to define the variables over here something that windows have so if you go to the windows and then you go for the environment variable it acts something like that so you have to mention it over here so for nexus version nexus 3 we have mentioned over here nexus protocol which is http nexus url which is this 192.168.33.208081 because it was running over there and if you remember, if you go to the Vagrant file, you would be able to find it. So you can see that Nexus is running over here. Similarly for SonarCube, similarly for Jenkins. Okay, let's go back. Now, I'll go to the Jenkins file. My Nexus repository name should be vprofile release. You can change it if you want. The repo ID is vprofile release because whenever we create, when we created the profiles uh, in Nexus, we gave the same name. So this should be it. And then Nexus credential ID is Nexus login. We are going to club this with Jenkins, but in this video, we are totally concentrating on this Jenkins file. How we are going to integrate it, we are going to take that in the next video. So just for the timing, you can understand that we are going to give the NavX credential ID, uh, Nexus credential ID as Nexus login. Now the real thing starts over here. Stages, and then inside that we'll define all the stages. Now if you want to understand how do we write the stages, you can go for Sonar, uh, you can go for something like this in this you can understand a lot of things over here okay so uh, I'll just give the link in the description but for now let me put it over here now the first stage would be the fetching of the code so it will start like this in the brackets you have to give fetch code fetch code is something that would be visible once you run your pipeline and then in the steps first is git branch paac logic ops lab which we created if you remember and then you have to give the url of that with of that repository now there are two things first if you're using my pipeline sorry my code repository then you can give this if you're using yours and you have forked it already then you can give yours over here and then arrest would be the same okay just remove this and give yours the next stage would be build we have to build the code okay so we are using maven that you already know and we are using shell over here because we are using linux servers so all three servers are linux servers and then clean install d skip that i don't want to test and uh, so i would be skipping the test so this would be the build part and then once it is done i'll be giving a successful message that now archiving because we want to archive the file and then we want to create a war file out of it which is a web archive file okay moving on we'll do the unit testing over here then we'll write the same command sh mvn test over here for the next stage we'll write for integration then mvn verify we'll skip the test for over here in the next stage we'll do code analysis with check style now what is exactly is check style so if you want you can google it's kind of a static tool and a static analysis tool sast for testing purposes and it's open source so you can use it we'll show you how to use that and then you can write check style dot colon check style for it how to integrate it with jenkins we'll understand in the next video but right now as i said and i would like to reiterate we'll more concentrate on this file after that post once it's done success message echo generated analysis result okay let's move on to sonar cube 
Now before understanding this, as I showed, I'll show you again. This is the URL and this is a official documentation in Sonar Scanner for Jenkins. So there are multiple things available over here. You have to click on Sonar Scanner for Jenkins and there are multiple ways you can integrate your pipeline. So if you start from the top, you can see a lot of things. So Sonar Scanner, how do you get it for Maven, for Gradle, for .NET? How do you install it? Jenkins via Update Center. It's it's totally available over here. You can just right click over here and open it over somewhere. And then it'll, it'll be explaining you how to do that. So there are multiple things. Okay, so let's go back over here. And then if you want to analyze a .NET solution, it's perfect. But right now we are doing the Java solution, so we do not need that. And then you can copy these if you want to use Sonar Scanner, if you want to use Sonar Scanner for Gradle, for Maven, you can use this if you are doing for Maven, for .NET, multiple things available over here. So I'm not going to explain all of this, you just can go through this, okay? Let's go back. So in that, uh, the environment we're using Sonar Scanner tool, which is my Sonar Scanner 4. This is again the setting that we have to do in the Jenkins, okay? So wait for the next video. And in the steps with Sonar Scanner Cube and ENV, Sonar Pro, it is the same thing we are going to give in the settings in the Jenkins, okay? So then we have to run the shell command and then scanner home bin sonar scanner d sonar project key. Project key is going to be available when we are going to create a project over there. So we're going to do that, do not worry about that. And then we are going to pass the parameters. What is the project name? V profile repo, project version 1.0. You can change it if you want. Sources, src hyphen. And if you remember, this is the code and then this is the src if you want to go inside you would be able to find the code this is main this is test code okay so you can easily relate over here let me take it back and then java binaries where should uh, you will find it target test classes com visuals path it account and this and this you can change the path if you want jaco j unit test is a test uh, for when you write unit testing it is one of those uh, you, uh, that i used and the reports path you can give the path okay and this is because we i'm trying to combine it so that's why i'm using this over here after that jacoco jacoco is java code coverage and then we are going to generate a few reports and then where we are going to get it target slash jacoco.exec and then sonar we are going to uh, produce sonar sonar cube reports and then check style result xml this is what we are going to do it and three things uh this three uh, invert single inverted commas has to be closed so it will be closed here okay now this process takes a lot of time i mean it can go up to five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes but if that happens we have to give a timeout over here and this is 10 minutes so unit is in minutes so you can give in seconds as well but right now it's 10 minutes that we can give because this process can take a lot of time and then wait for quality gate result or the about pipeline equal to true the last stage would be stage published to the nexus repository manager okay so steps are script pom read maven file it is going to read my pom file where is my pom file you have to go to back to to the project and then there you would be able to find the pom xml file i'll show you so if you want you can see it over here this is the pom file and uh, uh, you can change the name let me type it p s a c so now do not get confused because this is the POM XML and this is PAC because I'm using this repository DevOps Height Club vProfile project. But if you want to see, I have made my own. So I'll just type logic ops lab over here because I have forked this repository. Okay. Um, there is nothing like that PAC. So I'll just go back to the tree. Okay. I think let me remove this. Let me show you why it is not working. Log oh my bad sorry it has to be logic ops lab i think this should work now perfect and then i have to just go to paac and then i'll just have to click over here and then you'd be able to find the form.xml which is this now if you want to go through this perfectly okay you can go through this and if you just want here it is so you can make changes over here if you want okay so these are the things Let's go back to the Jenkins file. Let me close this. It's suggesting we to install something. After that, uh, it's file by glob. It is finding the file by target, pom.packaging. In the next 90th line, it's echoing file by glob. It is going to echo the name, the path where it is, 
the directory it is let me drag it down over here the length of that and the last modified okay it is going to get the details and it's going to echo it and then artifact path the path and it is going to check whether the artifact path exists or not if yes then artifacts exist and then it's going to run all through this otherwise it is just going to give an error that could not be found that the artifact could not be found so we have to preserve the artifacts for that okay let me drag this so that you can see more of it now uh, it is going to echo the file artifact path again group id packaging art version in the nexus artifact uploader because it is going to upload the artifact so it is going to need the nexus version nexus protocol nexus url now where it is coming from it is coming from here so we have defined it in the environment and as i told that it works as an environment variable so it is going to come from this all the ids and so once you push it over here once you write it over here uh, you can use it anywhere along the whole pipeline along with uh, with with the code so that's what you can do okay and the nexus repository credential id how are we going to do this we're going to see in the next video when i will create about jenkins and then artifact id classifier so this is the classifier for it the file type the type form and if it's not found then i've already explained that could not be found okay so this is the very basic idea of understanding how our jenkins file look like okay so again this is pac pipeline as a code that this is what you are going to do so in the next video we'll talk about how we are getting this uh, we are really going to create a nexus version over there we are going to integrate the tools the nexus uh, we are going to do for sonar scanner we are going to do for check style as well a lot of other things okay so that's what we are going to do in the next video so uh, till here if you haven't understood anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one